What's up you guys, American? welcome back to my channel. No, you grow up. So I'm really excited to start cranking out some of my regular content again, and I'm coming back with one of my favorite videos. So I spent a good chunk of my vacation, and then some, resetting and cleaning my turtles collection. So I'm really excited to do a tour. As you guys might remember, this is what kicked off my channel, was when I reset my collection back in July. I thought that that would be a great time to start my channel, so what a better time to do something like that than the first of the year. And Honestly, we're coming up on the actual one year of my channel, funny enough. I actually created this channel in January, and I never ended up putting up my first video until July of that year. But now that I have my biggest hurdle cleared as far as my collection, it's going to be a lot easier for me to get back to doing regular content. Like I said, this really has taken up a lot of my free time, not to mention getting the podcast going, learning how to do a lot of stuff that I've never done before. And now that I know how to do a lot of that stuff, it's going to be a lot easier the next cycle for episode two. Plan to start cranking out some regular content. I still have my opening for all my other figures that aren't TMNT. I'm going to do my top 10 TMNT figures of the year. I'm going to do my top 10 not TMNT figures of the year. I have my Fury Toys Samurai Spring figure, which I'm very excited to do a review on. That's the figure that everybody's calling the not Leonardo. And I'm just going to say it right now, that figure is everything that it's hyped up to be. It is small, but I just can't explain to you how much fun I've been having playing with that figure. But I'm done talking. You guys came here to look at some turtles, so let's go do that. Alright you guys, so here it is. Everything has been reset, cleaned, reorganized. Some stuff went out, I got some new stuff in. And for the most part, I'm really happy with how everything turned out. There's a couple things I didn't get back into the display that I wish I could have. And I'm probably going to keep playing with it a little bit more until I do get everything in that I really want in here. But again, I'm just at that point now where I'm just out of space. Like, I mean, I am in space danger, there's nothing I can do about it. For me to have more room for my turtles, I mean, I've already given it more real estate. It's just going to be to the point where if I want to add more turtle stuff, there's some other stuff that's probably going to have to go, and that's kind of a bummer, but again, my turtle stuff makes me the happiest. It's what I want to revolve my collection around, and I just want to give it as much space as I can because there's just so much cool stuff out right now. There's just never been a better time to be a turtles fan. People say there's too many lines, but I don't think there can ever really be too much of a good thing. I mean, you don't have to collect everything. You can just pick what you want and forget the rest. Not much changed over here. Usagi's still chilling in the corner, and I still have the re-release figures up top here. I just kind of adjusted where they were. I got the Mirage ones out of here, and I just have the old school Playmates Turtles now. I wanted to get that new Villains 4-pack worked into here, and I just wasn't able to do it. So I'm going to keep trying to do that because, again, I like how they all have the same unison packaging. And I want to be able to get all those displayed. So coming down here to my OG Playmates figures. So I've kind of dispersed these guys around the collection. So I have all of my mainline figures on this shelf. So we have Wave 1 up here on top. And then I also have that giant sized turtle that I just picked up from Kokomo Toys and Collectibles. And I'm just going to keep saying this. I think this is probably one of the cleanest out of package ones that I've ever seen. He has a little bit of scuff on his bandana. But I even got that scuff on his chest off so he looks a lot better. Coming down here, we have all my Wave 2 figures, and then we have Wave 3 down here, and I had to break them up a little bit, so a couple figures from Wave 3 are down on the Wave 4 shelf as well, but I have all the mainline figures through Waves 1 through 4, and then I have one lonely Wave 5 figure, which was Murdu that you saw there at the beginning. So coming over to my Super 7 display, and I finally decided that I wanted to put these guys like kind of front row center, but I mean, even though they're kind of top left corner, but however you want to look at it, I kind of wanted to give these guys, like I said, just a little bit better real estate than they've ever gotten before. So before these last two waves came out, I just felt like my Super 7 figures were definitely kind of just overshadowed by my NECA figures, but now that so many more figures have dropped, it definitely just, they look a lot more powerful in the display, I feel like. It's finally at a point where, I mean, we just have enough figures to where it is just a really solid looking collection. If you saw my recent opening video, you'll know that I had some issues with some of the 2022 figures, but as a whole, I'm still pretty happy with Super 7. Again, if they keep going in a negative direction, we might have some problems in the future, but hopefully the 2022 issue is just something of the past and they can get their shit figured out going forward and just get back to where they were with those first four waves. Yeah, there was still a couple of QC issues here and there, but for the most part, the first four waves I was very happy with. Again, they're still some of my favorite figures. I'm going to have my top 10 TMNT figures of the year coming up, and then eventually I'm going to finally get around to doing my top 10 Super 7 figures now that I have all those out as well, so I'm pretty excited to go over that. Coming over here to my NECA movie figure display, and again, kind of mixing in some of my Playmates figures with these, so I have pretty much all my movie figures over here, including my Playmates ones now. 
And again, I'm really happy with how this looks out. This kind of always revolves around my corner because I just don't really have a better place to put those cardboard cutouts. And again, I feel like those are kind of a centerpiece of my collection as well. It's one of those things that I have that not a lot of other people have. So it's really cool. My grandpa got me for those when I was a little kid. He was one of the dudes that distributed like VHS tapes to stores that rented them and stuff like that. So he would always get his hands on all the cool promotional stuff and he'd always hook me up with stuff like that when I was a kid. So really cool that those have survived till I was an adult. They've pretty much been in every bedroom I've ever had for my entire life since I've had them. I know I just keep talking about all the content I'm going to make, but I am really excited to do a movie about the NECA movie figures. I've barely talked about them, and I think objectively they are the best figures that NECA makes. Like, they just nail the live action stuff, and I mean, they just look real. These figures just look so real. The Toon Line is awesome. It's a huge universe and a world that we're building, but there's just something special about these live action figures and I don't know what it is. Not a real big fan of Wife Beater White Trash Casey over there, but it's one of the only packs that I didn't double up on just because I mean, that was the point that I'm just like, what, what is even going on here? <laughs> you know what I mean? That is like the most random figure in the world. But other than that, it's just an awesome line. We finally, I finally got my hands on the Secret of the Use stuff and I'm just really excited to have these. Secret of the Use was a special movie to me as a kid. I always loved the first movie too, but as an adult, I've definitely grown much more fond of the original movie. It's probably my single possible favorite piece of Turtles media there is, but The Secret of the Use will always have a special place in my heart. It's one of my favorite movies to just put on in the background when I'm doing stuff. Now, moving over to what is definitely probably the cream of the crop of my display, my NECA Toon collection. It's pretty much everything other than the turtle variants up to this point. I don't have all the style guide turtles or the Comic-Con exclusive turtles, but other than that, I pretty much have every single figure. So really excited to get all these guys open and out on display now. This is one of my favorite things I got going on. So it's really like one of my only like fun action play scenes that I have going on here. And it's just a good use of all the mousers and all the bash foot soldiers and slash foot soldier and stuff like that. I just really like how this looked. I love those new Toon Turtles. I feel like they just killed those designs. I still might like my SH figure arts a little bit more, but I just really like those updated looks. Got the Channel 6 crew down here, along with some of my other good guys. You know, Muckman and Mugen Man, they were kind of bad at first and then ended up being good guys, but don't have a lot of hero figures, especially compared to the villains, so other than all the different turtle variations. So I have my old school turtles here, the original style guide ones. Got Usagi back there, one of my favorite figures of all time, and then the Turtles in Disguise up top there. Really hoping to get those Season 1 outfits next with the ridiculous leather jackets and stuff like that. Over here is my Dimension X shelf, and I keep having to re-record this because I cannot seem to say Rock Soldiers without saying Rock Soldiers. So, yeah, it's a shelf I really like for sure. Definitely some fun figures on there. Got the Triceratons and Alpha 1 with his cronies over here. Coming up top, kind of like my Bebop and Rocksteady shelf, and then I have the Hamato Yoshi and the pre-mutated Baxter Stockman on here as well. Really happy to get that Rhino Man and Mighty Hawk figure later this year. Coming down here, got my Knight of the Rogue shelf, so the only thing we're really missing is Tempestra, so I cannot wait to get that figure. I know she's not really a fan favorite or anything. In fact, Brendan made fun of me for being into her on her first episode of the podcast, but I really like her. She's in one of my favorite episodes. Again, I have some episodes that are just really special to me because I had the VHS tapes, and Leonardo lightens up. I'm pretty sure that was the second episode on that one, so always a special one to me. Finally got that Toka and Razar in my display. Coming over here to some of the Loot Crate exclusives that we finally ended up with two years later. Outside the Dark Turtle and Scrag, I really do feel like it was kind of a lackluster release this time, but Scrag and the Dark Turtle are two really sweet figures, especially that Dark Turtle. I still love him a lot. I love that bendy wire cape. It's just a really nice touch on him. Coming over here to my main villain's shelf with Shredder and Bebop and Rocksteady, Krang and the Foot Soldiers and some Roadkill Rodneys. I just really like this. Like I said, it'll always pretty much be pretty much these same figures on here. I just really like the way that one works out and it's just probably one of my only few shelves that I'm really happy with that won't change much. Coming over here, got the Pizza Monsters and the Crooked Ninja Turtle Gang. And again, the Pizza Monsters are kind of hard to display, but I really like the way those guys look together. Coming down here to my comic shelf, so those are the KO Turtles. Leo is the only one that I'm missing over there. I have one of the Mondo figures, it's Mikey. I always have, seem to have good luck with Mikey's. Back there is a limited edition Usagi hardcover. It's signed and hand numbered by Stan Sakai, so really cool piece of my collection. I really don't talk about that stuff enough, and I think that's going to start probably coming up a little bit more. 
Come over here to more of my Mirage stuff. Got some of those freaking God, whatever that stupid event was with those black and white figures. I'm assuming that red shirt Casey's probably going to be hidden behind a stupid event like that as well. But I got them nonetheless. I'm really happy to have those figures. I do like them a lot. As well as that Chase variant of the Ronin back there. Again, shout out to All Yeah Comics of Muncie for hooking me up with that guy. And then my Batman versus TMNT figures still survive. So these guys are definitely the main thing on the chopping block right now. Whenever I need more real estate, these guys are going to have to go. Coming over here to my arcade one-up cabinet, one of my prized possessions now. And what better place to keep my Turtles in Time Turtles than right on my cabinet? If I need to play this, it's not hard to move these guys. So I've only played one full time through with Lacey. And if we need to play it again, I'll move them. It'll be worth it. But I just really like the way they look on here. And again, just one more place I can put figures. I'm going to figure out something I can do for shelving behind this. I haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, I don't know if it's time for Detolves, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but I'd like to get something back there. And this is easily my new favorite part of my room. I love being able to put figures on my desk. I have all my Playmate subline figures over here, some quarter scale turtles, and just all my figures that I kind of like to play with right now or just really like to look at. So like my Ronin figures are over here. That Samurai, that Fury Toys Samurai Spring figure is over here. And again, I cannot wait to review that figure. I just can't stop talking about him enough. He is so fucking awesome. Like, I had a hard time buying into the hype with all the awesome figures that are out right now. But like I said, all the hype is for real on that figure. If you can get your hands on him, he is a high recommend from me. And again, my last Ronin figures over here, I really love these guys. The Playmates one, the NECA ones, just so many good figures have came out this year. It is unreal. And I'm just glad I have them here in front of my face and just one more place for me to put turtles. I don't really need a lot of room on here because I don't really do anything other than just type and put my camera on here to film from. So just really like the way this turned out, really happy with it. And again, just more room for more turtles right in my face all the time. And I just couldn't be happier to have this set up now. All right, you guys, so that's going to wrap things up for this one. Thank you to everyone that just got on board with me last year. I just can't tell you how much it means to me. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you guys for sticking around, watching my videos, liking, commenting. And thank you to all my subscribers that just watch my videos, that don't like, that don't comment, that are lurkers. That's who I was before I started my channel. And I feel like that those are the people that never get thanked. So I wanted to go out of my way to thank you guys as well. I appreciate everybody that supports my channel, even if you're vocal about it, even if you're not. Trust me, it all matters. You're all important to me. You're all part of this, and I couldn't do this without you guys. So lots of cool content coming up. I'm really excited about it, but that's all I got for you guys in this one. So take it easy, be safe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.